welcome to a Christian Forum. My name is Pastor Victor Orla. I thank God for what the Lord has been using this uh, program to achieve in your life. I believe the, it has been a tremendous blessing to you. And my prayer for you today is that Lord, we continue to bless you as you listen to this broadcast in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Everlasting King of glory, we exalt your holy name. We thank you, Father, because only you alone is worthy to be praised, Lord. We honor you. We acknowledge you. We appreciate you for this opportunity to minister to your people. Father, we thank you for this vessel that you are about to use to glorify your name. Lord, I pray that your word will speak life to your people. I pray that your word shall establish them. I pray, that you, I pray that your word, O oh Lord, shall open the eyes of those, O oh Lord, that need to know you more in the name of Jesus. I decrease, Lord, while you increase. And I pray, Father, Lord, that the entrance of your word that gives life to another understanding shall guide our heart and mind in Christ Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your name alone be glorified at this hour. Lord, touch our hearers and touch all our listeners in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you glory. We worship you. We give you honor and adoration. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Welcome once again. Um, today our test shall be taken from uh, Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4, I read verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord Always, and again I say, rejoice. In this world, there are people that are unreasonable, illogical, self-centered. But there is a caption that says, love them anyway. If you do good, people will accuse you of selfish motive. Do good anyway. If you are successful, you will win false friends and true enemy. Succeed anyway. The good you do today will be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Honesty and frankness make you vulnerable. Be honest and frank anyway. The biggest person with the biggest idea can be shut down by the smallest person with the smallest mind. Think big anyway. What you spend years to build may be destroyed overnight. Build anyway. People really need help, but may attack if you help them. Help anyway. Give the world the best you have and might get kicked in the teeth. Keep giving anyway and give the best you got anyway. Today, what am I talking about? I want to talk to you today about a joyful heart. A joyful heart. Apostle Paul made it clear in Philippians. It made it clear to the Philippians that rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say rejoice. Therefore, today, I'm challenging you today as well that rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say rejoice. A joyful heart. There are situations these days that makes our joy to be limited. There are circumstances in our contemporary world that make our joys to be questionable. There are problems that are confronting every one of us that makes our joyful heart to be a heart that we can even doubt that, do I really have the joy that I ought to have? In this present dispensation, everything around us begin to contend even for the joy that we have. Everything around us 
begin to contend for the hope that we have in Christ Jesus. Everything around us begin to either try to draw us away from who we are in Christ Jesus. But here we are, Apostle Paul made it clear, even to the people of Philippians, rejoice in the Lord. Once again I say rejoice. Therefore today, I come to tell you also, I come to challenge your faith also, I come to agree with you also, that the joy that we desire, a joyful heart that you want, a joyful life that you need can only be accomplished in the Lord Jesus Christ. A joyful heart that you want can only be fulfilled in the Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe in the midst of your afflictions, maybe in the midst of your persecution, maybe in the midst of your sorrow, it is too hard for you to rejoice. Maybe it is too hard for you to give praise unto the Lord. Maybe it is too hard for you to acknowledge him. Maybe it is too hard for you to lift up your holy hand and give thanks unto him. Therefore, I come to you today to revive your heart and say rejoice in the Lord. I come to tell you today that sorrow is not part of you. I come to challenge you today that the joy that you need can only be achievable in the light of the gospel of our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. What are we talking about? What kind of joy are we talking about? We are talking about the joy of the Lord. We say the Bible tells us that the joy of the Lord is our strength. This is the demonstration of our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. How many of us can have a joy that is contagious? I want you to know that joy is contagious. Nobody wants to be around people who are not joyful. I don't want to be around people who are very mean. I don't want to be around people who are joyless. I want to be around the people who love the joy of the Lord, who experience the joy of the Lord. And also in this particular passage, this joy that we are talking about is a commandment. It is also a commandment. It's a rejoice in the Lord. A rejoice in the joy of our salvation. Rejoice in the, in the cross, in the cross of our, our salvation. Rejoice in the cross of our Savior. Rejoice of what the Lord has done for you. Rejoice of what the price that he has paid on the cross of Calvary for you. Rejoice because our hope is in him. Rejoice because he has redeemed us from the cause of sin and death. Rejoice because we are no longer under any bondage at all. Rejoice because he is able to make all grace abound unto you. Re Rejoice because he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. Rejoice because he's with you all the time. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. A joyful heart. As you devote yourself even to the Lord, remember God. We will never leave you nor forsake you. God will never abandon you. God will never let you go. You belong to him. You are the apple of his eyes. You are the treasure that he can use. The treasure that is hidden in him. The treasure that is hidden in you. This treasure is in a vessel. The vessel that we carry. God is able. Joyful heart. A joyful heart. Do you have a joyful heart right now? As I'm speaking to you right now. Do you have that joyful heart? 